Yeah, pick your plane. I take any one of these planes from these pilots, I teach you to fly in it. You can't even drive that cart. I did not flip over. All right, I think they will sort that out while I introduce the oldest airplane on the field. This is a 20s designed airplane in the 20s, about, I, I, it's a 27, but they were meant as a, a Model 4000 travel air. Many of these were built. <laughs> we still have activity over there going on. This one is po powered by a cotton, or a Lycoming 300 horsepower engine, very good push the fellow. Continental 220 horsepower engine. All these engines designed back in the 20s and 30s. Same engine right here being started up on this Navy airplane by Keith Furman. What about this airplane here? This, are you sure he is a real pilot? Justin Courier starting his engine. Stay away from the airplane, please. Frank Isbell in the 747, yellow steerman. Named after Lloyd Stearman. Thank you. Rick Khan, number 123. His brother Dave, the checker boy tail. Khan has 220 horsepower engines built in Muskegon, in Michigan during the war. Brand new this year, Navy NTS-1 being flown by Dave Brown. Looks like nine airplanes are ready to take off. Over a million pilots to fly. And at any time in World War II, after the war really got going, we had eight million servicemen and women. This will be a mass formation takeoff. Frank Isbell in the 747, the uh, yellow steerman, maintains our airplanes down in Petersburg, Virginia. There's a shop down there where he uh, recovers, and that's quite an art, by the way, recovering the aircraft is a very complicated affair. You can go online and look at some of the uh, companies that, that do that. Big Sky Aviation out of Friggin comes to mind, and those girls give a demonstration of the rib stitching, which is quite involved. After you cover the wing, you spray down a light coat, just to firm it up a little bit, draw it up. And uh, the yellow airplane, the 741, 751, the polyfiber, using the polyfiber technique, which is a new technique, it's a fantastic technique. Kimball uses that down in, in Florida. But the rib stitching is very important. You have to actually stitch every few inches along the, the ribs, the fabric to the ribs. A very technical knot is involved. 
What they're doing is running up the engines to 1700 RPM. Checking each magneto, two magnetos per spark per engine, two spark plugs per cylinder. All right, I'll be quiet, make a video, here we go. Four ship takeoff. from World War II. They were not used in battle. We're in a five-ship takeoff. I'll be quiet again, make a video. It's going to be very beautiful. Look at them all. Yes. Bouncing around a little bit, that's from the prop wash, weight turbulence from the preceding flight. And if you follow them in a small airplane, like my little French airplane, you'll get tossed around mightily. So you have to stay 